welcome to my channel and today I have another theatre vlog for you. So today I'm actually going to see something a little bit different, it's a dance show. It's on at the Lowry and I've been invited to its press night. I'm going to read it so I don't get the name wrong. It is Rambert's Dance in Peaky Blinders, The Redemption of Thomas Shelby 2023. That is what I'm going to go and see tonight and go with my mum to the press night. So I'm really looking forward to it. I've seen like um, a trailer for it and it looks really good. I've never actually seen the Peaky Blinders show, um, but seeing what I've seen in that trailer looks really good. The costumes look great and the dancing looks amazing. So really looking forward to it. It should be a good night out. Uh, like I said, I'm going to the press night, so tickets have been gifted. Um, we also get a program when we get there and we also get an interval drink. So. That would be nice, it's nice to spend an evening with my mum. So I'm really looking forward to going there tonight. It's on in the Lowry's uh, Lyric Theatre, which is its biggest, the biggest theatre in there. And yeah, it should be good. I don't actually know where I'm sitting yet. We've collected the tickets once we get there, so I've got no idea where we're sitting until we get there. So yeah, I'll probably get back to you now once we are at the Lowry. So we've just arrived at the Lowry. My dad just dropped me off just near the bridge, so we're just gonna walk across the bridge. Lowry is just here behind me across the water. So we're gonna head in now. I think it's about seven o'clock, starts at half seven, so not too long. So I'm head in now, get my ticket and find out where we're sat. So I've just arrived at the Lowry now, just been taking some pictures. Just gonna head in, you see my mum just waiting there outside ready to go in. So yeah, just gonna head in now. Now, just heading over here to the press desk, pick up our tickets and wristbands and programs. So, so, we've just picked up our tickets and wristbands and program. So, we are sat in the stalls, row L, seats six and seven, I think. So, we'll go and find our seats in the room. through door J which is the one just around here so don't often come in this door so it's door J just get my tickets out Six and L seven, so you're in the seats of the six that just can't get. Okay, thank you. Okay, so we're on row L, seat six and seven. Okay, so we're in our seats now. This is our view. So we're on row L, seat seven. Yeah, looks like a really good view. Good. 
really enjoying it. I've never seen anything like this before. It's really good, but I'm just gonna go get a drink at the bar now and I'll get back to you at the end of the show. So it is now the interval, we just got our interval drink. So did you enjoy it? It was really good. I've never seen anything like that before. It was really mesmerising. And the music was good. And you sort of didn't know where to look at on the stage, did you? There was so much going on. You just had to keep your eyes off the stage. And I've never seen the uh, music like that. It's really good. So it's now the interval. We've got our drink. We've got our drink. Okay, so the show has ended now. We're just outside, just across from the Lowry now, and it was absolutely amazing. Never seen anything like that before. The dancers were incredible. The whole staging was just really good. Never seen anything like that. Definitely recommend that show. It was really good. Do you enjoy it, Mum? It was amazing. Amazing, yeah. yeah. Well, really enjoyed it. She's never seen anything like that before, have you? No. We've never been to like a dance show before, but it's something I wouldn't have thought of going to no. myself. But now I've been, I'm really glad I went. Yeah. I really enjoyed We've it. Seen it. So if we see anything else like that again, maybe we might go again because yeah. that was that was incredible. Really good. I think Lawrence would have loved that. I know. I think he missed I think out on he, a good uh, night. I think he would have loved that. He's definitely missed out there. Anyway, we're gonna head home now, and I'll talk more about it when we get home. Hi, so I'm now back from the theatre. I thought I'd just tell you a little bit about the show. So I went to see Rambert dance um, Peaky Blinders, the redemption of Thomas Shelby. Um, now I've never actually watched Peaky, Bl Peaky Blinders, so I didn't really know much about the show going into it, uh, but I'd seen a trailer for the show and I thought it looked really good. Um, I thought the costumes looked great in it and I just thought the dancing looked amazing. So thought I'd go and give it a try and it was an amazing show absolutely loved it it was on in the Lowry's Lyric Theatre which was their biggest bigger theatre and we had really good seats actually we were on row L seat 7 and 8 and the view from there was excellent we had a really really good view definitely recommend them seats if you're going to the Lowry and there's also plenty of leg room in those seats as well uh, there was merch for this show, they did have a few things, they had t-shirts, bag, um, I think they were selling the like little caps that the Peaky Blinders wear, um, and a few other things. I did film the merch so you will have seen it in the video. Uh, I didn't get any merch but I did get a programme 
um, a free program for press night so I will show you this in a little bit and it's really nice program as well really big these were eight pounds if you bought one so like I said I have never seen Peaky Blinders before didn't know any story um, but to be honest I don't think you really needed to know the story because it was so beautifully told uh, through the dance through the music uh, there's also some narration going on and um, so I don't feel like I needed to have seen the show uh, needed to have seen the TV show in order to enjoy this dance theatre show and um, we, me and my mum really enjoyed it it was a really great show so like I said this is a dance theatre show and it was re written and adapted for the stage by Stephen Knight who is actually the creator of the Peaky Blinders TV show. So this dance show was directed and choreographed by Benyat Swan Pouffet. And this production combines contemporary dance with live music as well as pre-recorded narration. And the live music was so good. I really enjoyed the live music in this. It's sort of like rocky music and it was really loud as well. And it just fit, it fit in so well. Um, with the dancing and I just really enjoyed the music in this I thought the score was excellent and the score for this was actually specially commissioned by Roman Dine Arthur I'm not sure how to pronounce his name but it was specially commissioned by him and I absolutely loved it um, like I said there was a live band that was on stage and they also sang um, some of the songs as well, the live band. So it was really nice actually to see the live band on the stage. Um, and like I said, the music was really loud, but I actually enjoyed the fact that it was really loud. It was it was really good. It felt really powerful. Um, so yeah, really enjoyed the music in there. Also, the narration in this was actually was it was pre-recorded, but it was performed by Benjamin Zafanian. I'm not sure if that's how you pronounce it, but I think he actually um, played a part in the Peaky Blinders TV show. Obviously, I've not seen it, so I don't know who that was, but apparently he did. Um, but I enjoyed the narration. It helped me to um, know exactly what's going on in the story and helped to move the story along. So I did enjoy the fact that it did have a little bit of narration in there. So the story starts at the end of World War War One. Uh, it starts with the Peaky Blinders serving in the war um, and I think it's the war that sort of shapes and also haunts um, Tommy Shelby later on in life and it then goes on to show um, Thomas Shelby and Grace's love affair and tells of how uh, as Tommy was building up his empire Grace was operating as an undercover agent on a mission to get close to Tommy's gang and so that is like the basic story and I thought it was told really well. And like I said, I was sort of able to follow it, not knowing the story of the show. I could still follow the story from the dance and the narration and the music. Um, Set-wise, the set was really, really simple. It was basically just a black uh, stage and a black backdrop. And the back of the stage was sort of raise up and allow ensemble members and st and to sort of enter and leave the stage. Um, there's also some lighting rigs that will come in and out as well. Um, so they tended to use a lot of props and a lot of lighting effects um, to show like different scenes, um, which actually was really effective. They had, at one point they had some carousel horses on stage. So yeah, the props worked really well as well as the lighting. I really loved the lighting in this show definitely set the atmosphere there's also like a lot of smoke and stuff as well in the show there's some pyrotechnics some fire and stuff and um, there's a lot going on it was it was really good so all the dancers in this show were absolutely incredible i enjoyed the performances from all of them i don't even think i can say a standout performer because they just all was just so amazing they were just all in, in, absolutely incredible I've never actually seen a show like it to be honest it's it was just something really different for me to go and see I mean my mum really enjoyed it um we probably would go and see a dance show again if it was at this level this standard it was just something like we've never seen before I definitely would have to give this show five stars because we, it was just so enjoyable um, the first half did seem to go a lot quicker than the second half I think a lot of the action and stuff was in the first half 
and then it sort of slowed down towards the second half um it was more like um tommy shelby's sort of um like in his mind more reflective um i think he was taking a lot of opium in the second half and it was more like dream sequences and um, so there's some ballet sequences in there and um, it's sort of the pace sort of slowed down a bit so I think I probably did infer enjoy the first half more than the second half but it was still um, a really good second half so I will just now go through the program with you like I said it's a really nice program this and um, like I said it should have been eight pounds um, but I think it's a really nice program for eight pounds and um, it's also got the cast in here so I can show you the cast and yeah let's show you this now Okay, so this is the front of the box. The program sort of has two fronts. It has this side, which is for the Peaky Blinders side. And if you turn it around on the opposite side, this is more about Rambert's dance um, part. So this is more about the dance on this side. And then this is more about the Peaky Blinders show on this side. So we'll start with this side. It's got some um, shots here of the war scenes. It's then got a little insert here, um, which has the um, cast on it. So playing Thomas Shelby was. I can't pronounce the names. So I'm not really good at pronouncing names. Um, so he played Thomas Shelby. Then playing Arthur, you had Connor Kerrigan, Barney Musa Mufa, John Joseph Kudra, Jeremiah Alex Saliri. Grace Burgess, Naya Lovell, Polly and Inspector, Simone Damberg, Boots, Ada Adele Balint, Changretta, Ant Antolello, Sa Sangiradi Widow Shangreta Ashwarya What? Factory Foreman Dil Dylan Tadaldi Follies and Ensemble Max Day Ensemble Serena Williams, uh, Ensemble Archie White, Ensemble Katy Carpenter, Ensemble Callie Hollister, Ensemble Angelique Valesco, and Ensemble Jonathan Wade. So that was the cast for the show. Then on here you have the scenes and tracks. So this tells you all the scenes in Act 1 and the tracks. And then it shows you had an interval and then you had Act 2 scenes and tracks. Then you have a little article here which says from stage to screen. And this is just an article where... Uh, the creator Steve Knight and the uh, choreographer and director are talking about why the TV show is being turned into a dance. So that's just a little article there about that. And then you've got like some rehearsal shots on there.
Then you've got another article here called Peaky Sounds. So this is um, an article talking to the composer of the music for the show and um, telling you how he wanted the audience to be guided through the storytelling by the music of the show. Then on the next page you actually have a pull out poster. is really nice. As you can see from the pictures the costumes were really really nice. I loved all the costumes in this show. I thought the costumes um, really brought the show to life. This is just a bit of information about the costumes. It's called the Peak, the Peaky Style. Um, it's a talk with the costume designer and talks about how he adapted and commissioned 1,500 individual pieces for the show. So just a little article there. And the picture of the costume is here. Some more production shots. Another little article here. Then you've got the creative team and their biographies. So you've got Stephen Knight here, who was the creator of Peaky Blinders, and then you have Benoit Prefer who's the choreographer and director. So you've got the rest of the creative team here. Another great production shot here. And then you have the cast biographies in here as well. Here you've got all the tour dates of all the places that it is touring to. So obviously here it tells you it's at the Lowry until the 18th and then it's going to move on to uh, the Cardiff Millennium Centre. Then some information here about the Birmingham Hippodrome. And then just a few adverts here. And then it's got some thanks here. And then you've got the timeline. The Peaky Blinders timeline here. And then we need to turn, turn the programme over and look at the um, Rambo uh, side of the programme. So I'll just quickly flick, flick through this bit. So first page, it's got Welcome to Rambo. I'm just going to quickly just flick through this so you can just quickly see. I'm not going to go through it in detail, but I'm just going to quickly flick through this one. Got another pull out post a bit there. I mean, this is a really lovely program for the price. Some uh, mm, shots of dance. We 
go. That is your program. So yeah, it's a really, really nice program. And so, yeah, the show is on at the Lowry until the 18th of March. So until Saturday, the 18th of March. Definitely I highly recommend the show. Me and my mum really, really enjoyed it. Uh, like I said, you don't need to have seen a TV show to enjoy this dance show. Um, we had never seen Peaky Blinders and we didn't really know anything about it. And we thoroughly enjoyed the show. I found it easy to um, understand what was going on and really really enjoyed it so definitely recommend it um definitely check it out if you love dance you will really enjoy this show so definitely recommend it i will link down below um the official website if i can find it i'll also link down below uh, the links to get tickets for the lowry shows and yeah i hope you've enjoyed this little vlog um if you have enjoyed it please do subscribe and hit the notification bell and you'll be notified when all my other theatre vlogs go up i try and do at least one theatre vlog a month it has been a bit more than that recently i mean i do actually have two more shows this month i mean tomorrow i'm going to go and see rock of ages at the um, manchester opera house and then next week i'm going to see my fair lady at the palace theatre so i do have a few more shows coming up this month um, so if you'd like to see uh, vlog reviews of those shows, like I said, do hit subscribe and hit the notification bell. You'll be notified when those go up. Uh, so yeah, like I said, I hope you've enjoyed this little video. If you have, please do give it a like. Don't forget to subscribe and I hope to see you again soon. Bye.